Hey folks, Jonathan here. Uh, come to pick up a 1958 uh, Ford F100 short bed fleet side truck. And got Jordan with me. And uh, getting ready to load it up. Uh, hasn't been on the road since 94. And it's got a 351 Windsor C PC4 transmission. So we'll get it loaded up and get it to the house. And then we'll uh, look it over a little better. And show you what we're into this time. But it will happen.
Okay, back with the uh, 58. Uh, it's in fair shape. It's got a little bit of Bondo in it, but not much. Bed's really nice. Uh, minimal rust. Uh, tailgate, I think, is pretty good on it. Back bumper is pretty straight. Tailgate, it's not rusted out back here anywhere. And this side's good, pretty good. And then just a little bit right here, but not bad. Uh, the biggest problem with this truck, besides it's got a window issue, but we got two extra doors back there that have windows in them, uh, is right there. And I've actually got a friend that's got new replacement panels for this. I don't know whether he's going to ever use them or not, but I'm going to try to get them if I can. We'll see what happens there. But uh, otherwise, decent shape, I guess. Uh, seats look like Volkswagen. And, but they do sit up high. It actually sits pretty decent. Automatic on the floor. It's got one of them old, well, I think it was a hearse, but I don't think they got any uh, park lockout on them or reverse lockout. So they're really easy to, to shift all the way into reverse while you're going down the road if you're shifting. Don't look like we're going to get the glove box open. I do have good paperwork with it, thank goodness. Windshield's not bad. And we have a, well, the best part probably is the chrome grill. Uh, missing the bezels on each side. But, should be able to get them. Uh, 351 Windsor, don't know what year. Uh, of course, it's a later model, you can tell that. Do you have the bezels? Stick it up on there, see what it looks like. Noah's already found them. The right one? Mm. Mm. Don't look like the right ones. They don't go like that. I had a feeling it wasn't the right ones because the ones that go on are flatter, I think. Yeah, that's uh, that's probably 59, 60 bezels. Something like that. Yeah, just come back and try it. We'll look around and see what we got. I might have something. Uh, somebody loaded uh, the mounts in this one. They actually done a fair job. Not bad. Um, I'm not going to say they're right, but they're strong, so there won't be any issues with the mounts on it. The uh, engine looks like it's sitting pretty level, no problems there. Uh, I did see the U-bolts at the front. Somebody has put some spacers on them, evidently they didn't have the right U-bolts. And the uh, engine was supposed to have been running. The guy that I got it from uh, said that the man he got it from said it was knocking. Uh, it's not stuck, and we are still going to find a carburetor. Just a two barrel. We're gonna find the carburetor and do a start on it just to make sure that you know it's a knocking issue and not you know lifter tapping or rocker arm busted or something like that. And uh, you know, so far everything I've started up was was pretty decent. Uh, this will be the one that I start that probably is not going to be decent. So, but we know that ahead of time. Noah said forward, but. You drive a Ford. He likes a Ford. Don't let him lie to you. Keys in it. That's a good thing. So, oh, that was done quite a while back. I'm sure somebody cut out to put an AM radio, AM Philco in it. But anyway. Anyway, first 58 Ford that I've owned. I've owned 59s and 60s. Just never had a 58. So, here eventually. No, we jump in there and hit the brake pedal. Just see what it does. It's been 90, 1994 since it was on the road. To me, that seems like yesterday, but I guess it's been a while. What's it? All the way down? All the way to the floor. Did it come back up? Did it come back up on time? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the pedal comes back up. Okay. Okay, so we're missing the points plate, so we're going to have to come up with a points plate to put in it, some points, and carburetor. But we will be doing a start on it eventually just to see if it runs. Alright, now I'll close the hood on it. Yeah, the ribs on top. That, that's something I guess the 58 has it, the 60 and 59 60s don't, because I don't remember that on the other one. Pretty neat. Alright. So if anybody's looking for a truck 
with a good title that needs a lot of work. I do have one. All right, appreciate everybody watching. Until next time, bye.